Today on the G3 Sportsman, we're on the best striper lake in the country, Beaver Lake in Northwest Arkansas. And my buddy Joe Farkas is gonna hook a brother up. So let's get started while the fish are biting. I lost him. <laughs> Give me my fish. He with... fell off. Of course, that thing pulled twice as hard as a silver. Look at this cat. <laughs> oh, yeah, you catch that. Thank you, fish. That's what I'm talking about. Get you some of that. The G3 Sportsman is presented by Yamaha, when you want the best. I am so lucky to call the Ozarks home. We are blessed to have so many different types of lakes at our disposal. Each is famous for its own species of fish, and one in particular, Beaver Lake in Northwest Arkansas, is known for its exciting striper fishing. <laughs> Boy, they're strong. Now, speaking of exciting, the premier guide on this lake is Mr. Excitement himself, Joe Farkas. Hey, you know, when a fish knocks the breath out of you, you've, you've had a good day. <laughs> oh, man. Joe runs Joe's Striper Guide Service here on Beaver Lake and has been my go-to guy for strippers. He is without question the man to fish with here. I always enjoy his great sense of humor and his laid back approach to fishing. He always catches fish and for a guide, that's definitely what I'm looking for. He's now a great friend and we always have a crazy time together when we get to fish. Right. But I don't Put want your that. Head no, down, I don't, hey, I, I caught the fish. I, I don't want the, all right. I don't need all that. If you assist, I'll give you another shad here. <laughs> I never know what's going to happen when I board his vessel. Now, I noticed that one's got a, a little bitty sinker on it. So yep. When I hooked up with Joe and his son Dave this past summer, the action started early as usual. We hadn't even got all of our poles out before the first fish hit. Good fish on. All right. Wait, oh, Dave. Cow. Atta boy, Dave. a boy, Dave. a boy. Thirty-five poles, Dave. Yep, thirty-five, and get it right. Way to go, man. Down there. All right. What about this one here? Uh, you want me to just wait and keep uh, this? No, one go out? ahead with thirty-five poles. I heard it quick. I was like, I could have sworn. Turn the handle on that. Good job. There is a tree out here at about sixty foot deep, so you just keep doing your thing. That's there he is. All right. Scott, uh, he's, hang on Scott, he's kind of gone to that side there. He always does. To be. I mean, he always catches That's because he's got his redneck fish getter shirt on. He always, it is. Yeah. <laughs> the redneck fish getter. <laughs> we ain't even got set up good he's showing out. I know, I was hoping. He ain't got but half the rods out and he's already catching fish. Now he wants to come back again, doesn't he? Let's get him on up here, Dave, and see if we can... Yeah, that ain't a bad start. Get the, That's a good start. Sure. Is that about the size... High, Pull up a little higher. Is that about the size they're running right now, yeah. Joe? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a good yeah, size. That. He's got a little gut hook in him, but we'll take him. That's a good fish. Yeah. You need a knife? Uh, right. Yeah. Let's just cut this. Yeah. There you go. Man, how about that? What are you hand him to me for? Well, because I gotta go tie another hook on. <clears throat> oh, okay. We're gonna catch another fish. About a beaver lake striper right off the bat. I mean, we ain't even got all the poles set up yet. <laughs> Hadn't even got them all set up. Boy, that's a good eating size right there too, isn't it? Probably about 12 pounds. Yeah, yeah. Well, ain't nothing wrong with that. That a boy. <laughs> Let us get the poles out just a little all bit, right. you know, and you just show it out all the time. Where's your cooler underneath the seat? Are yeah, uh, you gonna let him go? Well, you you want to yeah. you want to let him yeah, go? Yeah, we want to let him go. Okay. If he'll go, we'll hold him over and let him go. All right, we can do that. Yeah, you'll have to wake I him up. I thought you was wanting. All right. Yeah, I didn't know whether you was wanting to. Uh, no, keep... uh, only on the big ones. I, uh, I, I, you know, probably twenty plus pound fish will not make it right now. And why is that? You think that the bigger 
Uh, they're coming from deeper water, putting up a longer fight, and they get bends. And they're in yeah. their stomach. And even if we relieve their air bladder, uh -huh. the studies show like only a 20% survival rate this time of year yeah. on an adult fish. And so that so, right there, that ain't no problem. It can just yeah, go right in. Yeah, we can right let those go up. All right. Dave, can we now start putting some poles in the water? Stand that one back up in the I forgot my count. I'm going to have to start over on this one. Put that one back up. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get rigged up again here. That was all right. Them big fish, eat big fish, them big fish, big fish crab. There you go, fish on the balloon, get it Scott. Oh boy. I've been going a quarter turn on that drag Scott. Oh, we got one here Dave. Holy cow, Come we on, got Dave. two going. That's not a big fish there. I see you. What well, you got, Dave? You may have hung that red balloon. If you did, don't worry about it. You think I'm on that red one? Yeah, that's okay, though. We'll just bring it in with you. That's okay. You got to have a small one to catch it. To have big ones someday. Don't let off. Uh, just, we'll get him in here and get a shot, Dave, and let him go. Let him grow up to be a big one. I think Scott's got a bigger fish there, but I can't tell. That's a that's a, here. Take your fish and show it to show it to everybody. What am I saying? How old do you think that little fish is right there? Oh, he's probably just three or four years old. Maybe. You think he's that old? Yeah. Uh, we've had seven-year-old fish go 30 pounds here. So they grow, you know, pretty fast. Oh, absolutely. They got one of the gra fastest growth rates that uh, you can you can have on these fish. This is just an excellent habitat for them. This one right here don't know what he wants to do. I know it's always got him wrapped. Yeah. How about my balloon? Now? It'll slide. Just okay. keep keep doing your thing. You get him, Chloe. Oh, you got a little late run out of him there. That sounds good, doesn't it? Well, this one right here just acts like he doesn't want to. It might be a big hybrid, Scott. They'll put up a late yeah. run like this, too. Yeah. Which yeah. is fine. I like hybrids. Oh, I do, too. I like hybrids. But I hadn't got to see this one. It... I mean, I can't tell if it's just a big fish or Look just... at that sky behind us. Isn't that beautiful? Uh-huh. This I lake like, is... I like watching that rod band up in that blue sky with that orange sunset, uh, orange sunrise coming up. See, this thing's acting like a hybrid, you know? Yeah, well, we've had a few big ones here the last week. Come on, girl. Come on. No? I don't think it's a hybrid. I think it's a striper. Pretty good fish, huh? Oh, yeah. They're all, we've had a lot of 10, 12 pound fish here the last yeah. week. I'm all Leading the way right towards me. I am all the way to the sink. There you go. Line. That's all right. That's all right. That's probably what made her heavy. I'm dragging really in all the other lines. lines. <laughs> That's all right. There's a good fish. That is a good fish. All right. That's a good fish. I, I, for my Dave, first, can you give me my pliers out of there? For my first fish. He's you hog tied him. I got it. Get this off. Of Holy here. cow, we've got a mess. I'll get all that. Here, you take him. And, and I'll take your rod. You can come down and release him and do your do your thing. Man, that's a nice start for me right there. I mean, that is a good one. <clears throat> Thank you, Joe. You're welcome. As always, man, you are the man. Well, we're, it's a good time of year to be here. Yeah. All right, I'm going to let him go. With the sun coming up, 
What's it going to do? I mean, if it if it gets some high blue skies or or what? I mean, right now we've been in these overcast. What's it going to do if the sun comes out? Usually, when hot? that pressure starts building, if these fish typically will feed in the morning, early mornings or late evenings when that's off the water, and then they'll. They, honestly, I think they go into the timber. We've got a tremendous amount of trees below the surface. Yeah. I mean, you can be in 150 foot water and have timber that's 60 foot below the surface, and they'll sit in there until it's until that pressure comes back off and comes. Dragging out. all a these, rule of thumb. Dragging all these things over timber is not fun. <laughs> we can keep them out of them if you can, if you can keep their head up when they take off with it. Mm -hmm. You stand a chance. So as the sun goes up they go down generally this time of year yeah summertime sun mm -hmm. comes up in the winter they can follow and uh, yeah. sometimes midday winter fishing is your best but uh that's a good thing about over here i mean you catch fish year round mm -hmm. lake never freezes over or it hasn't in years yeah that's what i mean i mean you know people can come over here and fish with you you know, any time of year. Up till about the 1st of January, and then I'm on the road for a month, maybe five weeks doing the sport shows, and, and then back on the water mid-February on. Yeah, from February through, I mean, mm -hmm. you're, I mean, you're booked a lot, you know, there's no doubt. But I mean, you catch fish, that's the, that's why people call you. Because I mean, any time I've ever been with you, I mean, we just get slammed, you know. I, I don't know, <laughs> I may be your good luck charm though, you never. You might have to take me on some of those dry runs sometime. <laughs> oh, well, we don't we don't like them. We have them. I had one day last week. We didn't catch one. Yeah. And, and just turn around the very next day, and they were back on. I don't know where they went, why they didn't come through. But uh, that's a, that's they've been tracked swimming 25 miles a day. Really? Fish. Right. And it may not be one in the lake to the other. It could be all in this general vicinity. They're just like nomads in. They just roam all the time, don't they're, they? They're a schooling fish, saltwater fish, so. As usual, I'm getting torn, knocked apart here. What's that, Joe? We're just getting eaten alive. One rod going well, down I mean, after it's, another. That's usually how it is with you. <laughs> I mean, we get in the boat, and I mean, it's just, it's just total carnage right off. Yeah, he's gone under the boat. And okay, well, just keep him off the motor. I'm going to stick another bait in so Scott can hook up, too. Yeah, yeah, that's... You want me to swim under and bring him around? Yeah. Just keep your line off the boat. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think right now he's wanting another shad. <laughs> I think that shad right there, he's... Uh... Just keep your line off the boat, that's it, and your rod deep. That's it. That's exactly what you want right there. Boy, I'll tell you, what. what is it, Joe, about me and you getting together? I don't know, but they hit the minute we get here. I mean, you know, I mean, look at that, that thing it is, isn't it? Them ugly sticks are unbelievable. Okay, this rod is in. I don't know how it happened, but this rod is in yours, Dave. Oh, is it? <laughs> That's all right. You just do your thing. Can we get this pull out of the way, Dad? Yeah, here. Here. I'll get it. He's all right. You're all right. Stay right on the corner of the boat here, Dave. Dave. Yeah, stay right on the back corner over here. Okay. Stay right where you're at. You're all right. Here. There he is. I thought he was further down. That is a good fish. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Isn't that pretty? Oh, yeah. I mean, these things are... Kind of carbon copies, ain't they? I'm gonna d keep your hands on the handle. I'm gonna take this hook off here. Let it down, Dave, a little bit. There we All go. All right. Man, how do we get boogered up? We've got everything knocked apart already. I'll get him, Joe, if you can grab You him. get him. You get him. Yeah, hey, boy, I'll tell you, there we go. Yeah, I was kind of, Kind of thinking which rod you had that hooked on. Good grief. That looks like almost about the same size fish that, he, that we caught a while ago. Boy, all these fish are just as healthy. Man, these they are, are great in good fish. shape right now. And this is actually post spawn. They, the first, that little one we caught had a, a little 
lack of stomach on him, but. Yeah. Yeah, these are all post-spawn fish too, so boy, they're healthy. I mean, they're eating uh -huh. good. That's for sure. All right, I'm gonna put him back. We'll catch another. We need another bite. We do. <laughs> Yeah, something we need to go ahead and tangle the something rest Something to tangle up a few rods yeah, let's here. Get, we, we've got some rods that are not tangled right now, so we need to get a fish <laughs> off them. I hope you're not superstitious. Because I, I, whoa, man, them balloons are fast when you, if you got fish slime on your hands. You uh, need me to blow those balloons up for you? Have you got enough air? Yeah, I got some air. It's. I mean, I know you got, you're full of air, but. <laughs> There's uh, no doubt, you're windy. Okay. Is that, that's there. under. Oh, oh, I see. You're trying to tangle me up, aren't no, you? No, I'm getting under that. You certainly are. I see how you are. I'm getting under those, yeah. those poles. You got all I'm that under experience this one too, last isn't time it? you were here, and now you just don't you just don't want me to catch as many fish. I'm under that one. I had to get underneath that other one. Somebody just say something about whether we were going to catch another one or not. Yeah, I was uh -huh. wondering if we were going to hook another fish. We're going to. You know, when you go fish. with you, you're used to catching them about every five minutes. That's the way we like it for a while, anyhow. Then even I've got to take a break. Yeah. He's oh, I, I think he's backing off on the drag to make him look good. <laughs> you, think, you think I've loosened the drag to make yeah. it to yeah. make it sound They really good. don't pull that hard. They, they just he backed it off to about two pound two pound drag. All right. Uh, Joe, you want did me you land? want me to land you, this? You fish? want me to land him by myself? Too? Well, I yeah, I can't do it from there though. Okay, all right. You, where you want me to bring you? I need. Get out of your way. There you go. Oh, I missed him. Oh, oh man. All right. Cool. That was quick. That was. The minute I got untangled. That was. That's all right. I'll tell you what, every so often you, you don't mind one of the smaller ones because it just wears you out with all the bigger ones. Cool. All right. That's a boy, Joe. Okay, Joe's going in. is the man. Another good good striper. Man, that was a good fish. All right. But I don't Put your that, hand no, out there. Come hey, on. I, I caught the fish. I, I don't want the. All right. I don't well, need all that. If you insist, I'll give you another shad here. <laughs> Did you bring enough bait? Oh yeah. You said that. Let's see. I'd like to try to use them all again too. You. Uh, You've said that before, and we just run completely out. Let's put a bigger one out there. Are you with the we can't... big bait, big fish? Well, sometimes. Actually, uh, we had a 30-pounder last week that came on a little bait. Okay, is this 42-foot uh, pulls? Four, four, uh, 35 uh, th two-foot pulls. 35? Mm -hmm. 70 feet, huh? And, a cli and two clicks. Okay. Go. Hey, Scott. As usual, man, another great day. I've Thank had a good time much. again. And I enjoy coming down here. Well, I, do, I enjoy having you here. We, uh, we've got some good fish here, and I'm glad we had some bite today anyway. We, we didn't get a big one, but they're here. Oh, that's what, that, you know, that's the great thing about going with you because you can always catch fish. I mean, it may not be the monster, but you make up for it in numbers. And, and I think you know, <laughs> a lot of people, you know, really just get as excited about catching numbers of fish rather than one great big fish. I mean, we all want a big trophy fish, but mm -hmm. you know, when you're going out there fishing and you're out there for mm -hmm. a few hours, I mean, you at least want to be, you know, yanking in more than just one. Boy, they tore us up for a minute there. I had That's what it is. They always <laughs> they crossed hit every rod I had out. They just hit in groves That's like it. that. And, and I'm telling you guys, if you want to come down here and enjoy some great striper action, I mean, Joe Farkas at Joe Striper Guide Service, I mean, without question, he is the man to put you on stripers. And you'll see the number right there at the bottom of the screen. And you need to contact this guy because I'm, I'm sure that you've just got a few open dates left. No, you yeah. You can probably we, accommodate somebody. We'll have some great fishing through the rest of the summer here. And I'll be down rigging at night in July and August and then go back to the live shad and topwater action this fall. And you need to come back this fall and get I one will. on top with me. I will. And I appreciate it. Thank you okay. very much. All right.
As a guide needs to know where the stripers are, what's even as important is where the shad are and the ability to keep them and hold them. And so, you know, if your guide's got good shad, you stand a good chance of catching a big fish. You know, you always take the girls to the bank, don't you? Yep. Especially my four-legged one. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. What are you hanging to me for? Well, because I gotta go tie another hook on. It's not here to look what he wants to do. I know it's always got him wrapped. Yeah. How about the It'll slide. Just okay. keep, keep doing your thing. I'll get all that. Here, you take him. And, and I'll take your rod. You can come down and release him and do your, do your thing. Hey. You want me to swim under and bring him around? Yeah. 